Now for Pit Pals TV, we're talking with Boone Smith, who by trade is a tracker. He's going to explain that a little more. He's got a super special show coming up and series for Nat Geo. Boone, thank you for joining us. And start from the beginning. These are not pets. I say that because, as you well know, some people think they can get a baby, a cub or something, and take it home. Then it grows up and it ends up in a sanctuary. Not good. These are wild animals, correct? Yeah, these are, are big wild animals. I mean, instincts that have been honed over millions of years um, to do what they do, to live and survive in the wild, and, and that's where we want them to be. Right, we don't want to, they're not domesticated. Even though they're cute and cuddly as cubs, you should let them do what they do, right? Uh, you know, and, and, and they're easy to fall in love with them oh, because yeah. they are so cute, but oh. they grow up and they get big <laughs> and they are powerful and strong. And, yeah. and, and, and like I say, that, that's where we need to keep them. They're meant to be wild animals. Um, once in a while, we have occasions where we have something that can't be returned, and, mm -hmm. you know, we have an animal ambassador here and there, but w our hope is that all these animals can be where they should be. Okay. <laughs> Why do we need to know this? Why are you doing this? I know you love to do it. Explain to people who are going, what the heck is he doing? Explain why we need <laughs> to see this. There's different species across the globe that are in different circumstances as far as endangered, threatened, or in populations are in decline. Mm -hmm. um, is what we did with the Man V Lion is we wanted, to, we, we wanted to highlight lions. So we actually go through and we will actually showcase the skills that make lions such incredible animals. Mm -hmm. And in the end of it, we wanted to kind of give a perspective, a point of view that folks haven't seen before. And lions were a, a species that allow us to kind of get in the mix and yet they still kind of do their thing. And, to, to get that close, yeah. we just wanted to make sure that we were still safe. And, and the purpose behind that is to, to get folks excited about lions and say, wow, they are incredible. Right. How do I do something to help their cause? Right, right. And don't try this at home. Don't, I mean, don't you, not that you could. <laughs> we don't have any here, or at least we shouldn't. So the good news is it, t it helps us to respect and to appreciate uh, wildlife. Uh, also, I'm very interested uh, for Pet Pals TV, you use some dogs in your adventures and blue tick, uh, uh, coon hounds, uh, some from with a Mexican lineage. Explain, explain how the dogs help you do your work. Um, my dogs are the workhorses. <laughs> they, they make me look smart quite often. <laughs> um, they're, they're a great group. Uh, one of the things we do when we do mountain lion captures is where we use the dogs. Uh -huh. um, we'll use the dogs to pick up a track right. and they will essentially trail the animal and, and, and chase it up a tree and, and, and keep it there until we get there to dart it, um, lower it down safely, place a radio collar on it. Um, you know, a lot of these big cats, I have a lot of folks ask me, well, why don't we just hide in a blind and dart it when it comes by oh or things like that. And the, the fact of the matter is these cats are so elusive. Uh -huh. They cover such great distances. They're secretive, they're shy. It, it's not that easy. It, it, it takes some, some serious work and, and really some advanced techniques to be able to capture and radio collar an animal. And, and, and the point of all that effort is that the information that we then get back right. is so valuable when we make decisions regarding management and conservation. I love uh, it. Decisions. We, we have to have good info to make good decisions, and, and this allows us to have that. Perfect, and you've been doing this, you're four generations of trackers in your family, is that correct? Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of <laughs> in the blood. It's, hey. I, you know, it's, it's, it's what my what's my daddy raised me to do. I you guess. You know, it's kind of funny because the dogs that you use, that's their that's their their working dogs. That's what they're supposed to do is track. It's in their blood. It's in your blood to be a to be a tracker too. So you inherited some of that. You're a working dog. Yeah, I, it's <laughs> what I was meant to be, and I'm, I'm glad I've got a good pack to work with me. Oh, good. Well, you're adorable. Thank you so much. Man vs. Lion, Nat Geo, thank you very much, Boone Smith. We wish you continued success, and we look forward to seeing your show. Thank right. you. That's it. Boone Smith for Pet Pals TV.